Hello and welcome to Shadows of Judgment. This is like really sleepy chill music, I have to say. Like, if you found like a fairy fountain in like Legend of Zelda. Anyway, welcome to Shadows of Judgment. For anybody who's new to my channel, this is where I look at the nooks, the crannies, the four corners. What's going on within the circle and outside of the circle. Boop, 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 boop. I look at what's under the subconscious, the shadow side, the things you might not know about, the things that people or you might be scheming, right? Wheel of Fortune. No, we already did you fire signs. Y'all always want to like, everybody always wants to jump ahead with shit. Air signs. Eight of Swords. Reverse, right? Ah! A few just fell out, right? Anyway. Well, air signs, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Check your charts. If this resonates with you. Good deal. If not, do not worry about it because it's just a card game after all. No biggie, right? Right. If you want a personal reading, my email is down below. <clears throat> Excuse me. As is my Facebook and Instagram. Hit me up at all of those, right? First reading's free on the house. Everything else comes with a price. Now let us begin, air signs. Gemini! Step up to the plate, motherfucker! We got indecision. Oh, okay. Well, there we go. I didn't mean like that, but... Oh, okay. Never mind. I get it. Never mind. You're very indecisive about how to avoid a disaster. Or somebody is. Mind you, cross watch or switch where you need to take what's yours and leave the rest with a pound of salt. Okay. okay. We got ooh. Some sort of commitment or excommunication coming up, right? Now you're trying to hold up your strengths for that. Uh, cause that tower has got you really insecure at the moment. Let's see. Things don't seem like, mm, yeah. Someone's become Mr. Crab. Not Mr. Crab, Mr. Crab. And there, okay, Gemini. Mm. Let us look at her, right? You're pretty indecisive holding up your strength or trying to keep something strong, enduring, um, whatever it is, like withstanding, having the, well, kind of like my crow deck, uh, the fortitude and endurance almost to, um, not let something die because that's how you're going to get what you wish for, right? But there's like some sort of, there's like either excommunication, somebody like getting cast out like they're a Sagittarius. Uh, just because I want to fuck with them a little bit. I, I like jokes. I just like making little jokes. That's, I love you, Sag. I promise. Mm. Anyway. Um, a lot of working on a heartbreak, it seems like. Like, it's like somebody's separating from, like, whatever is their, um, I don't want to say belief system as much as it is their rituals or routines or something they do as a community, a family, a group of friends, um, colleagues, social workers. That's what the Hierophant speaks of. And this is just like almost a authority figure right here. Could easily be a Taurus you're dealing with. Also Scorpio, Capricorn, Gemini, here you are, as well as Libra and Aquarius and Leo. Um. Uh, but this sort of figurehead, people look up to him, but now it's reversed. So it's like people don't look up to him as much anymore. And it's almost like it's working towards going to this heartbreak, which is almost what somebody wishes for. But they really don't know, it seems like. Um, because that, it, it will release them from a devil energy. That's for sure. They'll get out of something bad, or maybe they'll get away from a Capricorn. I don't know. Or maybe a Capricorn's finally finding clarity um, between the two of you or some shit, right? But there's a tower moment that just leaves you feeling all sorts of in your feelings. Just leaves you feeling completely insecure and like you don't have anything uh, almost like backing you or beneath you for a second. And that just leaves you feeling a bit like 
in your feelings to a point where you're getting really... Like, you guys can be harsh. Like, you guys can be really fucking harsh. But, it's that heartbreak and that harshness that's gonna help you get out of a, um... Not so great bond with somebody. Which is technically... Like, you... It's like you don't want this situation almost to end. But, you do. And you just don't know. That's like, damn, man. Anyway. What should we look at? The cups? Or the devil? Well, fuck it, we'll do both. I'm the reader. Shit. We don't have to subject ourselves just to what? What's up with this, um... Well, no, let's not confuse. Well, yeah, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and do it that way. Um... Someone's definitely had their cups full- Well, what the- Oh, god, yeah. Someone wants to separate, because now there's- We went down to eight cups. Um... But, they're also, but there's all sorts of confusion or lack of clarity, and it feels like things aren't lessening up for them. Uh, Gemini, there's your card. It's like the lovers. It's I feel like you had to make one choice or the other, honestly, between the two. And it's like something wasn't being offered correct, so you are like out the door. Didn't take any passionate buoy calls. Damn. Uh... Still don't know what it is you have to do, and you just want to break from it all this week. Oh yeah, guys, this is for the week of the 30th to, I believe, the 5th, I think, because the 1st is on Sunday. Yeah, so it'll be the 5th. Gotcha. Alright, but that's your shadow for the week, Gemini. Hopefully everything gets a little easier for you to figure out. And we will wait and see. Libra, it's your turn. Let's see what's going on for you. What is going on for your shadow this week, my darlings? What is up with Libra for this week, please? We got, you're trying to end all the bitches being petty. Um, and there's some things that you're trying to get over that I think you were really upset with at the moment, right? I think there was something going on. And I think you had to, like, just drop that shit, it looks like. You had to grab you, the two cups that you did have and just go. It was like, none of this shit's gonna end until I spill some cups and run for my money. Right. Even though all the squabbling brought you some sort of offer, you had to squash that shit or something that you that was supposed to be brought here. Um, someone's gonna run and tell, or you went into this like full force, just fighting into it. What the hell, Libra? Like you had some words, you're plagued with some shit, huh? Someone chased after you, and you became a dick. <laughs> What? Okay, Libra. I'm sorry. Like, I'm just watching them as they come out because I feel like there's, like, I don't want to talk on it just yet. Okay. So that's what came out so far. Those two came out together, so there's nothing else. This is just a separate house right here. This is like, um... 3D, 5D. We're gonna go with that, right? Just look at it that way. This is on, like, the ultimate level. Like, the overall, like, the stem of the shit, right? Because everything always has a stem to it. And if you don't nip that shit right at the root, not the bud, the root of it, you can't really eliminate what's going on here in order to affect things here. That's kind of... If you think about it in that way, it kind of helps, right? Just eliminate what the genuine stem of the problem is, or the roots of the problem, that is, and you can change a lot of shit right here. But that all depends on the attitude of the person we're looking at as well, Libra. Uh, I'm just putting that, I'm, I'm just saying, I'm not saying it's you guys so far, but I'm just saying that, like, that's what this 5D I'm calling it is. This is like, this would be a root problem. If there was something attached, or if these two cards hadn't come out to, like, end this, I would think that these were connected. But it's like, this is an underlying issue right now, and this is, like, a manifestation of this. So, um... 
And it's odd. Like, it's like someone wanted to end some petty fighting. So, it could have been you, Libra, or an Aquarius, or a Gemini who ran in, or someone just had the energy to run in to, like, just quell this shit. But it's like they did it for a really fucking selfish reasons, you know, uh, King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, you could be dealing with as well. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, actually everybody's on the board just because of the magician in general. But it's like, someone went in like a knight, like somebody, like someone went in to cut some shit out. Almost like they were ordered by this King of Cups right here, but he was all selfish about it. Or someone just went in and did this for selfish reasons. And I can't tell they were expecting this person to come up to them and offer the cup so they can get the love. But it's like instead it's like someone got left out in the cold. Um, and the, this dude is almost like in the same colors as the King of Cups right here. So it's like... They're dragging around the liability, and that's what they manifested almost. Whoever you're dealing with, Libra, it's like it's almost like they tried to send you to do their dirty work or to satisfy them, and all it did was like bring them into a situation where like they were waiting for a slow moving offer in order to gain like a cup or something. Like, this magician right here manifested, um... Someone, someone to go in and end some, like... Like, was there even any fighting to begin with? Because it's reversed. I mean, like, I would normally say, like, you know, um... Oh, maybe, like, the pettiness has gotten a little bit too far if it was that kind of... But it's, like, it's reversed, but the knight's running in. So it's, like, why would you go in the battle if the battle's already done? It's, like, someone, like, set somebody up to, like, say some nasty shit based on their own ego with the King of Cups or just to satisfy their own dramatic tendencies or some shit. Just started walloping people. Um, then a, somebody with a knight rode up with money and that just started love but then it was like oh this was a bad idea and it's like somebody manifested this and now on the 5d or what the root of this is it's like someone is looking over shit like someone banged the, uh, their secretary and got caught because they like did it on the f copier machine and people recognize the outfit the ring um some other stuff that like only people of that office would obviously know if they're under on the underground of shit of course but it's like someone's got some spilt cups here and they need to take their cups the last two cups they have with the five of cups right here that are still upright over that bridge and just get walking but it's like they look over all this shit with a lot of anxiety a lot of pain a lot of focus and they want that to stop It's like there's something that they're sad about that they weren't able to accomplish almost or something like that. And it, it's got their mental capacities at a, at the, it's like it's on their last damn nerves. They only had nine and each one is just getting punctured right now. And it's like, I am done feeling this way. I'm done thinking about this shit. Like, and, and mind you, they can go exchange their cup at any time. The problem is they're still facing the cups that um, are in front of them. And they're using that as a reason to keep staying in that mental state. Like, yeah, you spilled your cups. Yeah, whatever. This magician, right? Burden now? I didn't even ask which one I wanted to look at, but it doesn't really matter. Um, unhappy wants the burden to end, but they're completely unhappy. Just holding on to shit. Because it, because, because they feel like somebody owes them some shit, and it's only fair. But look at this dude; he's just hanging on to his shit, expecting, like, okay, this dude's got red in his pocket, right? But at least he has that shit exposed. This dude's dressed up like a fucking beggar, but he's got red clothes, just like this guy right here, who is offering a lot. And Libra, that could be you. Offering this person 
who acts like they need you financially or they pretend like I don't know it's like they're trying to you know one time me and my sister-in-law we were both feeding our cats at the same time every day but we didn't know we were doing it right my fat cat got fat because he would come to my room meow until he got fed right then he would go to her room meow till she fed him and he did this shit twice a day his fat ass ate four times a day and that's kind of what this person's doing it's like they were they're just going meow and then you give them their kibbles and bits, but they got a bunch of them. They got enough to make like little discs that they can glue their fucking shoes to and walk in in the snow and everything, right? Like this person's just meowing at you, trying to get you to feed them for a fourth time. And I feel like, you know, you're trying to do it out of the kindness of your heart, Libra, with this person. But it's like you're, it's, it's almost like you realize that, they, that this is what they did the last time. Acting like, you know, their rules secures them the right to be a little bitch or something. I don't know. Yeah, I, 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 I don't think you fight this person with this shit either. You just feel like giving up. They get, they put you in, like, look, Queen of Cups, right? If you're their counterpart, this person puts you in your feels a lot with them. And now you're just like, I'm not giving this dude shit. And that's the best mindset to have with this person right now. And you use that sword to strike their booty. Damn it. Don't let them come in with that booty. They're not don't let booty card man in. Don't let them do it. Anyway, that's you Libra this month. Or month. Ha! <laughs> Week. I don't know. I'm being crazy. Alright, Aquarius. It's your turn, loves. Which do you win? Let's see what you're up to. Let's see what's going on with you, Aquarius. Yes, yes. Okay. Oh, I need to take a nap. I always want to take a nap when I do these, I swear. Anyway, Aquarius, let's see what's going on with you. Okay. Beautiful, beautiful alien folk. You are walking away despite the fact that your cups are quite full. Or that could be somebody else. And it might be because you have no idea what the fuck you're doing. You have no idea what kind of choice to make. I, I, like, or you don't know where you're going. Kind of just like... And there's like a fire sign here watching you because they're indecisive about shit. Okay? Yeah, you're wanting just to end things. It's just like, you know, like, I'll go anywhere as long as it's in the direction where you're not... Where Like, do I really have to turn my back to you? Like, do I really... This... King of Wands, I feel like, is like the one that's keeping it... Shit. Mm. Like... Hmm, I don't know. Aquarius. Oh, hello. We're just getting all glitzy and glammy here. This thing has been quiet this entire time, and all of a sudden we're listening to some, like... 1980s, like, soap opera music. Or some shit that's, like, really jazzy. Alright. Aquarius! Let's see here with yours. Okay, you can calm down. Ever. There you go. Okay, not too terribly bad. Anyway, Aquarius, let us see. You or the person you're dealing with is ready to walk away from this stuff despite the love. And you're, you're just ready to end things with the three of wands right here because, you know, um, it's too much. Like, you have a fourth cup up here trying to quell you to, like, maybe think of something, but it's like this shit leaves you really, really, like, it's like the grief drives you nuts. Mind you, this dude really doesn't have any cups. The King of Wands right here, Leo Sage Aries, doesn't have any cups except for the Six of Cups, right? But that's even attached to this Queen of Swords, who's pretty fucking mad. And, you know, he wants to run to her because this is the Booty Man card, right? He comes for the booty. Um, 
could be coming in very um, quick with her action to try to get her attention, but she's got her back turned. Like, if you make me turn around, so help me. Like, you better make sure that that armor is got insurance on it, because I'm going to test to make sure it's living up the par, you know? You better make sure of that shit. Don't come to me with that bullshit. But, like, this dude, like, he's trying to judge accordingly. His mind is kind of trapped in the whole restraints because, like, he's thinking of the past where he could just run up and give the booty to the chick who's all mad and such, but she's not accepting the booty now, and all he knows is to give the booty, come to the booty, you know, caress the booty, and that's all he knows. It's like, that's the only action he really will take. It's like he's judging more than he is, like, ugh. And it's like he's stuck in his head because of how the past worked when they were younger, not realizing, like, that's not how... Queens develop. You can't come up as a knight to a queen, especially if you're already a king. You know, that's kind of insulting. Like, you can't be that kind of childish. You know? They're really indecisive and they're keeping that secret. And it's bothering him really greatly. Like, you keep looking over it. That's what makes him want to do, like, the whole booty card man. Because it's like, I think they love you. I really do. But it's... The Cancer, Pisces, Leo, Sag, Aries, you, Libra, and Gemini. I feel like this person is just... It's like... It's like they loved you back in the day. And I feel like they still have that love, but it's like... It's like booty? That's like, okay, like... Let's see... All right, booty card man. Let's uh, go over him, because apparently that uh, uh, like why, <laughs> like it's just like why do you want to write up like that? Like that's the only way they can do that, and it's like that's the only way they can quell that bitch. But it doesn't. It doesn't work. It does not work. Um, it's basically like flailing your arms in a mosh pit when there isn't music going. You're just hitting people to be a dick. Um, I gotta move on to calmer water. Leave the air king of swords reversed like okay counterparts once again and it's like you know neither of y'all are really happy like the queen's all upset and then over here like you know someone's just saying really nasty shit to be a nasty ass you know separation coming with that too and I need to restore or uh not restore. Um, just refresh. Recover. That's what I meant. Recover. Um, take a break, if you will. Oh, and that was some more. Um, the door is... There is an opportunity or a door opening or a marriage or something, but somebody needs to make some choices about that as well. Like, could be with the Gemini, but, like, there might be a relationship. There could be an open door here. Marriage. And someone really needs to look at, um... What it is that's going on in it, I guess. But, air signs, that's your shadow of judgment. If you guys enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe. If that's what you want to do, of course. Like, you know, that's all up to you. But it would totally make my day. Love you all bunches, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.